Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are here exploring Twin Peaks in San Francisco, California. Twin Peaks is a place where you can find two very tall hills in close proximity to each other. They are 922 feet above sea level and are located right at the center of the city of San Francisco. That means that the views here are truly amazing as you can get a 360 degree view of the city of San Francisco. That is the main reason why people come here. Another reason why tourists and locals decide to come here is to hike both of the hills to admire the undeveloped beauty of this place. The goal for today is very simple. Learn a little bit about the history of this place and hike both of the peaks to admire the amazing view. If you're interested to learn more about Twin Peaks and join us in this adventure, come with me. guys you heard that right today we're gonna go ahead and hike Twin Peaks but before we do that we need to get there there is multiple way to do this so pick something that you think is more convenient or fits your schedule one of the options is to drive up there if you end up deciding to do this make sure you put Christmas Street Point on the Google Maps location so that you get to the right uh, place that is where the main parking lot is located make sure you don't leave any valuable belongings in your car because cars can be easily breaking into. Another option is to use Uber or Lyft to avoid the hassle. My friend and I live here so we're taking public transportation. As you can see this is a bus stop behind me. For this there are two options. Either you take the municipal railway which is called Muni up to Forest Hill and then take bus 36 or 44. That's what we're doing today. Or you can also take the Muni up to Castro station and then take bus 37. Actually one of the first videos in my channel is about how to use a Muni system here in San San Francisco. If you're interested, I'll leave it in the description below for you to check out. If you want to hike up there, you can decide to be dropped off in a nearby neighborhood. We're taking the bus today, which does exactly that. The Sutra Tower, which is a radio and TV antenna, sits really close to Twin Peaks, which is this way. In my mind, this is like a big X on a treasure map, which signals where to go. So let's do this. As we make it up there, I would like to tell you guys a little bit about the history of this place. This location was important even back in the day when the natives of the region would use this place as a lookout ground due to its vantage point. This place was also used as a hunting ground due to its biodiversity. When the Spanish settlers arrived here, they named this place Los Pechos de la Choca. In English, that translates to the breast of a maiden and you can use your imagination as to why that is the case. This is home to many wildlife resources including plants and organisms some of which are endangered. It truly gives you an idea of how San Francisco looked before grazing and before the monstrous development that happened in the city. We made it here to the parking lot which sits on top of Christmas Tree Point. Like I mentioned earlier this is the place where people come first before hiking both of the hills. You don't even have to hike the peaks in order to get an amazing view. You can do that right here at the parking lot. From here, you're able to see the Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Bridge, downtown San Francisco, Alcatraz, Market Street, which is really hard to miss, and many other places in the city. That is great and everything, but we came here to hike the hills. So that's exactly what we're gonna do next. But just before doing that, we're gonna share a few tips with you guys. Like I mentioned earlier, it can get really cold in here. Right now it's really cold, so we recommend you guys 
to bring a jacket or a windbreaker so that you guys can stay warm. It would also be helpful if you brought some comfy shoes if you're planning to hike up the hills. Another thing we recommend is to bring your camera as you really don't want to miss taking a few shots for your social media or your family. Like I mentioned at the beginning, Twin Peaks includes two hills. One in the north, this one right in front of us, which is called Eureka, and the one in the south, which is called Noe. Twin Peaks is actually listed in the seven hills of San Francisco, which includes some of the tallest and most famous hills in the city. The tallest hill on the list is Mount Davidson, which is only six feet taller than Twin Peaks. However, due to the location and the unobstructed view, people decide to come to Twin Peaks. Both of the peaks act as a natural barrier between the west and the east. It actually protects the east from the fog coming from the coast in the west. crazy today but oh my god you literally think that you're gonna fly away or something the last thing we're gonna do today is go ahead and hike Noe take a few pictures and head home because it's so cold in here this is Noe right here come on bro What I can do with this footage. <laughs> Come on, you slow poke. <laughs> he made it, guys. He made it. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. As always, always remember to be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next time.